sure. So this is overrated, underrated kitchen trends. And I sort of just picked them out of the sky. And uh, so if there's ones I missed and you want to add in, we'll, we'll do that in a minute, like I said. So let's go on to the first one, which is sconces, sconces, sconces. Uh, this has been a trend that's been on the list uh, in a bunch of different people's uh, kitchen uh, trend lists and whatnot. And uh, so I guess the question is, is this an overrated trend? Do we pay enough attention to it? Do we not pay, uh, you know, do we, do we pay too much attention to it? I think, um, well, I'll tell you what I think in a minute. Sarah's saying overrated. Uh, they look kind of nice. You definitely need to dedicate, um, you know, some electrical, you know, boxes and whatnot so that in your wall. So that, that could be an issue later on. Um, we got two overrated. Why do people like these? Jackie's saying so. Sconce is way overrated. Um, Millie's saying overrated. So we have Sarah saying overrated. Oh, sorry, Sarah. Sarah saying overrated. Um, I like sconces personally, but like, I don't know what's going to happen in a little bit here. These are some different ones here. So they're not all just hanging lights, these, these are a little different. Um, but again, you know, that's dedicated boxes, octagon boxes in your wall. What's a sconce? Okay, well, sconce is uh, those lights. Those lights that are on the wall is a, is a sconce. Um, and they're becoming very popular in terms of what designers talk about in kitchens. So that's what a sconce is. Um, it's a wall light fixture, yeah. So uh, there's some more there. So they in the right place, they can be nice. Are they overrated or underrated? We got a lot of votes saying that they are so far overrated. Um, and, you know, yeah, we got mostly, mostly overrated uh, on that one. Highlights a dust on a shelf. So there you go, right? That's good. All at open showing. Um, so I think, I think we're going to just say that these are overrated. Um, they're an interesting trend. They are definitely on the rise, not for everybody, because there is a certain degree of electrical maneuvering that you have to do. And so that that takes, you know, an electrician, hopefully, unless you're running it yourself, which I don't recommend you do ever on this channel. Always get a professional. I legally have to say that. And because um, you don't want to burn your house down or something. But, uh, you know, they're nice. Overrated. OK, we're going to call it. We're calling this one. Sconces are overrated. All right, let's go to the next one. Workstation sinks. This is a popular kitchen trend. Uh, I like talking about workstation sinks, and uh, I bring them up from time to time um, on the channel. When I talk about sinks, I think they're really interesting and really cool. Um, but are they overrated or underrated? What do you think about the workstation sink? Workstation sinks are generally, if you've never seen one, a larger sink usually um, and they come with all these gadgets for straining and cutting and sorting and whatnot this particular one here you can't really see it that well but um it has two faucets here's another picture of a smaller one this would be a more of a standard size workstation sink and um oh we got knitting nana has one she loves loves mine okay sweet uh jackie thinks they're overrated we got a few overrated. Natasha saying overrated. Patty saying underrated. So interesting. Um, oh, here's another one here. Pretty looking one. I love this one. It has the slanted bottom to it and the rack uh, for well drying or doing what they're doing there. That's kind of that's neat. And here's another one here with the strainer, the cutting board. So there's lots of gadgets. I guess uh, my thing is. Uh, how usable are all these things? Are, are you just going to use it as a sink and not use it in its, you know, the way that it's supposed to be used? So, however, in, in, in the kitchen design world, I actually think that these are probably underrated. Uh, I think that more and more people should look at, at these types of sinks for their next uh, kitchen renovation. And I think it can be a good thing. We're so used to having sinks um, smaller sinks, even if they're doubles, um, you know, I, I think getting a larger sink is a 
I think overall can be a good thing. So I'm on the underrated side. Um, that's where I stand on it. I think they're underrated generally. Wouldn't the wood get warped? Um, depends on the wood, I guess. I, I assume they have that figured out um, so that it's it's sealed and uh, it wouldn't get warped. But good question. That's definitely something to ask the manufacturer. Um, I had one in the past, different than this, but did have a wood insert and it was never a problem. So. And that is a really good point by Anna. Um, overrated, not likely to use all that. And where do you put it all when you're not using all the gadgets? Uh, well, that's a very good point. So that being said, these are one of those types of sinks that you really have to figure out, do you think you're going to use all that stuff or you're just going to use your sink? So um, I would probably just use my sink, but I think the, the trend itself is a little underrated uh, overall. Let's go to the next one. Slab backsplashes, slab backsplashes. So for years, we've been seeing kitchens with tile backsplashes, and that's still very much a trend and something that just, you know, a lot of people do. And it serves a purpose, of course. It's not just for the look, but it does serve a, a very good purpose. Is the slab backsplash now, you know, it's coming on the rise. Um, is it is it underrated or overrated? And um, that's a Good, good question. I think it's underrated um, in terms of how much we we probably talk about it or maybe in the world where you're buying these things, uh, how much they push this stuff. Not push it, but try to sell it to you. Like you, you're always, you know, you're going to be told like you should have, you know, tile backsplash or herringbone or this, that or the other thing. Um you know, how often is this being an option for people? And I think probably not as much as it could be. And one of those reasons is it's probably uh, expensive. So uh, yeah, Lenora's slab super expensive to install and remove. So that's one of the reasons probably why it's not as popular. But I think there's ways, you know, around, I know with porcelain, you can get it thin. So you're not paying for that thick slab. Um, of, of course, that's not cheap either. But price out of the out of the equation for a minute, I do think this is an underrated trend. Um, looks very nice depending on the slab that you have and the veining uh, and what you're what you like. They have these matched slabs, so those two pieces are 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 matched slabs that come together in the seam like that. Um, so so that, that those are interesting designs. Now I'm not a fan of these intricate kind of things, but um, you know, definitely underrated as a trend, in my opinion. This is really pretty here. Um, interesting take how they did the front of that as well as the back with the open shelving. I think that's an interesting look. I like this kitchen a lot. I think it's just interesting. Uh, I know we think about open shelves, most of us, but this is a cool take on it. And um, I kind of just like, I like it. I think it's different. And like I said, in lots of times before, I like, I like different. So um, just gives you ideas. All right, let's go to the next one. So underrated uh, is my opinion on this one. There's another beautiful one here. Now, you know what? I'll say this. You get this beautiful slab, and you need to have electrical, but I think those outlets just look um, like out of place. <laughs> you know what I mean? There, there should be a better way to do that. <laughs> That's not true. I do like it. I, it is white, and I do like white kitchens, of course. Um, Natasha says, I got those lights. Which lights? Oh, yeah. Cool. Those are nice. Um, yeah, so this is really cool, but, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of those, of those outlets like that. I think this should be a better way for that. Okay, next one. Two-tone. I know there's other tones. There's three tones. There's 15 tones. There's lots of tones of kitchens, but... Um, Two-tone kitchen is still very much a kitchen trend. And is it something that is overrated or underrated? Oh, Jackie has a question. Where would you put them? I wouldn't put them. It's not where I'd put them. I think there's maybe a better way to make them look nicer um, instead of just the old school way like they had it there. I think they're just, I don't know. 
some thought needs to be put into it. And there needs to be a group of us that brainstorms how to do that. So it looks really sharp because everything else looks amazing. Um, all right. Two-toned. Two-toned is overrated. Two-toned is underrated. Two-toned is generally overrated. Interesting. Hey, Rob. Love it. Underrated. Artistic outlets. Maybe. Hey, there's my buddy. Um, Two-tone. Generally overrated. Underrated. Overrated. Got lots of opinion on these. What do I think? Um, not that it really matters what I think. I think this is a beautiful looking kitchen and it's two-toned. Um, I had a two-toned kitchen in the past and so now I don't. I just have all white. Here's another. I really like this kitchen. I love the reveal under the countertop. I know it's a dust collector. I know it is, but I just love it. I want to squeeze his cheeks. Oh. <laughs> I love that color. That is so nice. Man, I love that. That's beautiful. Anyways, two-tone. You know what? I, I don't think it's overrated or, or underrated. I think it's properly rated. Like, I don't know if it's pushed enough to be like, you have to have a two-tone kitchen or you have to not have a two-tone kitchen. I'm not sure. I'm going to just say this one's kind of down the middle. I think it's right where it needs to be. Check this one out though. Bam. Look at that one. So maybe that, that'll change your tone. <laughs> my apologies if this is your kitchen. It's just not my thing. That's okay. And, oh, here's a, here's a good comment. Uh, da, 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 da. Looks nicer in large kitchens where it can be separated. Yeah. I agree with that. Hell no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here's some, there's a beautiful one here. This is nice. So cool. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, I think they're properly rated. I don't know. If they're, I, I wouldn't say they're, they're overrated, but I don't know. Make sure you jump on that poll and, and vote for me too while you can. I would all really appreciate it because I'm probably going to make some content for some of those. Pinterest is, is doing well. It's tied with Instagram almost. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the next one as my camera shuts away. All right, I'm going to drink this. Earlier, I was drinking this towards the camera. <laughs> you can like, see, see up my nose. <laughs> it was amplified by the bottom of this thing. It was, I was like, I'm not going to do that when I'm live. Oh, my gosh. All right, quartz. Quartz countertop. Uh -huh. um, you know what I think about quartz countertop. Uh, so you can you can put it in the poll, in the post here, in the chat feed. Here's a slab of quartz countertop. This is what it looks like before you get it in your home. And um, I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> Appropriately rated isn't an option. So I'm going to just go with underrated. I gotta stick to. I got. I gotta say one of them. I guess I should have put appropriately rated as one of the options, but I didn't. All right. Okay. So quartz countertop is highly overrated, according to me. <laughs> but I know many of you love quartz. I don't hate quartz. I just think it's overrated. And um, you know. But that's not to say it's not really nice material. Not to say it won't last you a long time. I don't know what's going on with this kitchen, by the way. Um, this has got me stumped as what they're doing here. But anyway, let's go to this next one. Yeah, not for me, but might be for someone. Uh, there's a workstation sink as well in this and um, two faucets. Do you need two faucets close like that? Maybe. Yeah, so we got a lot of overrated stick to granite or laminate um i don't get the quartz obsession overrated ah uh, they can be beautiful but the realtor push to have one is annoying mark saying it's overrated and too expensive waterfall is over the top pepe Le Pew's kitchen uh, we oui, oui. <laughs> 
I think it's overrated. Um, yeah, definitely overrated. I would have grounded my kids forever already with a natural stone. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. To this next one. Here we go. Another course. I mean, that's that's a beautiful looking kitchen. I'm going to give you the secret to taking a picture of your kitchen. If you want to know the secret of taking a kitchen picture, uh, put a little green bottle of something in there. All right. Put a green bottle of something and some yellow, yellow and green. You'll take the nicest kitchen pictures. You'll notice a lot of San Pellegrino in kitchen pictures and a lot of lemons. And that's just a little side note. If you want to take a picture of your kitchen, put it on Instagram. San Pellegrino, a couple lemons in a jar, in a bowl. Bam. You get yourself a winner. All right. Porcelain. Porcelain. Overrated, underrated. Well, in my opinion, I definitely think it's underrated. Only because it's not talked about enough. Because it's... Some people don't even know you can do porcelain countertops. They think porcelain. They think tiles. Um, <sighs> the tips are free. Um and, and so, you know, and tile isn't really recommended these days for countertops, but porcelain slabs are beautiful. I think this is beautiful. I love the front, the apron front sink, the way they did that. I love the sink. I love this. I love it a lot. Um, anyway, I think it's very underrated in terms of a design trend. Some more here. Look how they do those sinks. Man, that's so nice. Oh. So nice. Very expensive, by the way, um, in terms of a slab material. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. However, um, like all things, let's go back to this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Um, yeah, this is quite interesting. <laughs> Very beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah, like some green, you know, green in a, in a kitchen picture just, I don't know, does something. Some kind of green. Look, green right there. Um, yeah, porcelain. This has the full backsplash too. The, the thing about the porcelain is you can get it in a very thin slab. And if you want to do that, that, you know, full slab backsplash, uh, you can do it with this and not have to have a real thick material. So that can be a, a good thing. All right. All right, let's go to the next one. The next trend, I forget what it is. Waterfall, waterfall edges. Okay. You know what? Oh, this is a nice kitchen. Uh, Two-tone with waterfall, probably quartz maybe. I think a waterfall edge is overrated um i think it's overdone it's yeah it's cool and all um bless you if you got one um i got a few opinions on on the way they did that fridge <laughs> i can't help myself when i look at some of these things and um but aside from that i think waterfall is is uh, overrated yeah you know what bam right there i like waterfall but too expensive not functional i mean i I don't dislike the look of it. I just think it's overrated. It definitely is expensive. It doesn't really serve a purpose other than a look. And that's totally fine. Um, so my apologies if you have a waterfall edge. Uh, by all means, you know, go with your guns and that's, that's all good. Um, my issue with the fridge here, by the way, is that these, these cabinets, this is an expensive kitchen, custom made, and there's no reason why that these panels, that this couldn't have been brought out to cover the full box of that fridge so you don't see that box there. So all you have is the door. Could have been done. Anyways, I operate in a different tax bracket. Uh, or if I operate in a different tax bracket. Yeah, Natasha, it sticks out too much. There's, There's... Ways to make that look better. Anyway. All right. Yes, I just got my new kitchen totally for the look. Sweet. Yeah, it looks it looks nice. Not that it look, doesn't look nice. It does look nice. But I just think overall, 
it's overrated in terms of like you don't have to have it you can make the side of that cabinet look beautiful without without it um but yeah i have a big issue with the fridge placement in this this what are they doing you're spending all this money with all this paneling on the wall of this backsplash uh slabs of this waterfall and that's where you stick your fridge <laughs> that was a major issue with this this is not cool anyway let's go whoa oh 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 that's an interesting stone i can't say i've seen one that with all that purpley mauve color uh that's way too much for my eyes however um yeah, interesting the way they did that waterfall too, because it's not connected. I don't even think that's I don't even I think that's like some kind of paneling because the doors are made out of it. It's like stick on or something. Who knows? I gotta get off that. Okay, here's just a quick picture of a mitered waterfall edge on, on a wood. Um, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. That's how they normally do a waterfall, it's mitered together. Um, and then the seam is buffed out so that it looks kind of like one piece. So all right, the next one, Ikea. Overrated or underrated? What do you think, Ikea? There it is, the big Ikea store. I'll be going there next week. If you're in Halifax, I don't know what day it is, but I'll let I'll put it out somewhere. You want to meet up with me <laughs> and, and look at kitchens, um, you know, I'll be there. Uh, let's go to the next one. So Ikea kitchens, overrated, underrated. I do a lot of content on Ikea. Um, you know, they do a great, gr Ikea does the best showrooms uh, of any one around, I think. And I'm partly in part because they have such a big facility to put all their stuff in that they can get away with making these big, expansive um, displays that you can you know, move in. I'm from the world where, um, you know, you had four feet or eight feet of display space and that's it. You got to get everything in those bays and for your displays. And, uh, you know, so you can't show everything. You can't get the full experience. And what Ikea does is they really give you that full experience. Now, I think in terms of a few different factors, in terms of quality, um, you know, they're okay, like quality, Side by side to something that's custom made, um, definitely not the same. But in terms of on par with other RTA cabinet lines, really, really good and really good hardware, which is important. They have great styles. They got great features. Um, I don't. I definitely don't think they're they're underrated by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I don't think they're overrated either. And I like Ikea. I really do. Um, so, and a lot of you use Ikea, I know. Oh, gosh. What do you guys think about this one? Yeah. Mine is like four hours away, so kind of not that great. Mark, I'm with you there. I think it's appropriately rated. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that one. Underrated because everyone scoffs at them. They kind of do, or you, you know, they're the biggest kitchen provider in the world, I think. No one makes more kitchens than Ikea. Yeah, 1,700 euro. Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to go with appropriately rated. Um, I'm, I can't say I'm like, I'm a fan, even though I don't have them. I'm, I'm a fan. I think they do a lot of things right. So I'm not going to be too hard on them. Not that I'm sponsored or anything like that. But you know, in the future, I could be. I could be good. So I don't want to say anything too dam damaging. <laughs> Come on, Ikea, if you're listening, throw me a bone. I should ask them when I go up there. I'll just ask some somebody when I walk in the door. Come on, sponsor me. They do great showrooms, though. They really do. Open shelf. The kitchen trend of all kitchen trends that will end kitchen trends that will has been will be and forever will be a trend is the open shelf is it overrated or underrated come on we got to go on this one we can't appropriately rate this one for sure the open shelf in my opinion is definitely one of those overrated um kitchen design trends okay now i'm saying this 
in light of the fact that I, I don't dislike the way they look. I think this looks beautiful. Um, the problem is, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's a lot, a lot of, a lot of us are saying overrated on this one. I mean, we got like extra, extra consonants on this one. <laughs> overrated, overrated, overrated. They're all coming in overrated. Plus, I'm not that tidy. Yes, not practical. Beautiful and well curated. Exactly right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So big no overrated due to dust and bugs. Just not practical. Jackie's doing this in two posts. Overrated. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you all in this. Overrated. No, no doubt that they 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 look pretty and all that. Look at these ones. These are these are all rustic pieces of board. You know, slap those on your wall. Um, no doubt they look beautiful, but there you go. Another one. This has like the lower, look at the lower one, the little shallow one underneath. Yeah. Let's let's drink this again this way. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this live stream so far. Um, make sure if you get a chance, if you haven't already, to hit the thumbs up and jump in the poll and uh, let me know which social media platform that you use most often. Is it, um, we got Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, or Twitter. So of those four, do you use any of those more than the others? And uh, I'd like to know so far, which is very interesting, uh, Pinterest is in the lead at 41%. So um, this is all, all, all interesting. The, as a content creator, um, one of the things I do is create content, obviously, but I do it solely for YouTube and I sporadically do little things here and there on Instagram or TikTok and I don't use Pinterest or Twitter, but um, I want to serve my audience. And if the audience is on Pinterest, then that would be a good place for me to invest in putting content and hopefully helping people with their kitchen design questions and issues. Um, so yeah, so this is, this poll is for my benefit and I thank you for voting. So if you haven't already, um, please do. All right. The next one, farmhouse sinks. All right. Farmhouse sinks, overrated, underrated, or overrated. <laughs> What do you think? And I'm going with this style. I'm not going with the apron front, you know, because um, these are apron front sinks or farmhouse sinks. And I guess uh, in the UK, maybe they're called a Belfast sink. And a, a London, I think. Is there two names for them, depending on the type of sink it is? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but I know Belfast is one of the names for them. Um, but the farmhouse sink, what do you think? <laughs> I rhymed. Yeah, Jackie, thanks. Thumbs up, please. It would be awesome. We got appropriately rated. Oh, Butler. A Butler sink? Yeah, Belfast and a Butler. I thought there was one called a London. I don't remember, but I don't really know. Okay overrated but i like it farmhouse is overrated overrated we got lots of overrateds and you know what i have to agree i think they are overrated um they get kind of get pushed a lot as being something that's you know you gotta have and i just don't know two grandchildren bathing at the same time yeah <laughs> apron front sink i will say this though i know we're saying that it's, it's overrated um, hey, Rachel's here. Hey, Rachel. Stainless steel firm fronts can easily get scratched by belt buckles. Ooh, good point. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, the, the porcelain front ones that we've seen a few minutes ago, I think those look really sharp. Um, anyway, I think we're all saying they're overrated, and that's a really good point from uh, Rachel. Now, the benefit maybe, I guess, which I talked about before, is that it, when water drips down, sometimes you see them with a ledge. I don't know if any of these have the ledge. Um, not that they don't look nice. They look pretty. And if you like that look, that's awesome. Um, nothing against them. I just think overall as a trend, 
uh, maybe they're just a little bit overrated than, than they need to be. Um, but now this one doesn't, but underneath that sink, if it had, if it had the ledge, uh, that would even be maybe a little better. Uh, so that water, when it drips down, doesn't sit on top of those doors. The biggest warranty claim that most of us in the kitchen world get are from doors um, or fronts that are underneath a sink base due to water damage. And um, I, it, it's been the most, the biggest cause of warranty claims in my experience uh, from any, uh, you know, as opposed to anything else that's out there. And the problem is, is that there's no you, you, there's no warranty usually on water damage so um yeah so having that little ledge can sometimes help i don't know if any of these do they don't i don't think this is more of a, like a modern looking one has the shallow divider i'm still just a fan of this of the single good point by dan here uh he likes them as a design element but not but no added functionality so yeah um Probably overall, sink is a sink, sort of. All right, the next one, the curtain sink, uh, or better, I guess, the curtain sink base, or the cabinet without a door that someone threw curtains on and thought that that was a good idea. <laughs> Here we go, a well-curated picture. This is an an interesting look here with the curtain. I don't, I want to know your idea on this one. Immediately, no. <laughs> I got to know. Oh, we got lots of no's. Oh, yuck. 70s. Oh, no. No. You. 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 Grandma sink. No. Okay, so this is not a popular one. No thanks. Back in the day style. My grandma had the same. Oh wow. And this is becoming more popular. Uh more and more designers are these are these are popping up. I, I shouldn't say this is on a trend list. Like in 2023, having a curtain sink is going to be what you want to look at. I mean, look at this. This is very bad. Um we got a nope. <laughs> All right, we got this one here. See, look, 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 everybody, look. San Pellegrino and lemons. I wasn't joking. I didn't I didn't notice that in this picture before I said that. I'm telling you, if you just want to make your picture look better, San Pellegrino and lemons, and bam, you've got it done. But anyway, back to the curtains. Yeah, drop food on it. Not going to be good. Why have a, the nice cabinet and stick a curtain there? <laughs> yeah, it gets wet. Those are great cottages in the UK, and that's it. Those are, are great. Oh, in cottages, right. I guess, yeah, maybe for some airflow, maybe. Phil thinks metal mesh might be better. It would definitely save on the water damage from those warranty doors. Maybe that's why we're doing it. Or maybe... They're so sick of sending those doors in and getting like refused to have a uh, water damage uh, claim that they're just getting that. And it's got pleats. Pellegrino ain't going to fix that look. <laughs> oh, nope. It isn't. But it, isn't it interesting that it's there and there? All right, here we go. Uh, what was this one? Glass doors. It's a budget thing. I don't think it's a budget thing. That's the problem. Well, easier to pull the bucket for the leak. Yeah. All right. So I, I guess we're saying a big no on this. Interesting. You know, the least you can do is iron your little curtains there before you go take a picture of them. You know what I'm saying? At least. Next one is lamps. Lamps in the kitchen. I know a lot of uh, pictures of... Well curated kitchen have lamps, and I want to know your opinion. Are they overrated? Oh, back to this one. I'm sorry, curtains overrated. Um, get 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 away with the, the curtains. Stop. I know that in the friend's kitchen they had a curtain, but don't don't worry about it. Okay, lamps. Little lamps in your kitchen. Big lamps in your kitchen. Uh, I don't know. I I just don't know. I mean, it has nothing. I mean. I guess in one way, one way of putting it is like this. 
more light, the better. And so that'd be the only thing. There's more light that could, that could be good. But now you got this lamp and I like how they hide the cord. So like, there's no cord there, but most of us, that cord is going to be going somewhere. Clutter. We got lamps are overrated. We got, I don't really like the lamps. Someone said they look cute. Lamps can be cute. So there you go. Um, yeah. Don't really get the lamps. Oh, here's a good point. Sorry, friend's kitchen was Monica's grandmother's. Which makes total sense. Also makes total sense why that is a horrible kitchen for a chef. Because Monica was a chef, right? Dan for the win on that one. I didn't know. You need lamps to attract the flying bugs. <laughs> there you go. Do the lighting right. Oh, sorry. These are going fast. I'm about my bad. Do the lighting right and you won't need a lamp. Or will you? <laughs> All right. Let's go to this next lamp. See little lamp over there. And that's kind of pretty. Man. That's a, I mean, a small little space. You do what you got to do. It's like the sconce, you know? But easier to uninstall. You just get rid of the thing. This one here has the lamp way in the back there by the by the by the, this lamp is blocking the natural light from the window. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure the point there, but I like this tree. That's kind of cool. Lemons, see that green and yellow in any kitchen picture. It's gonna get you, gonna get you the distance. All right, let's go to the next one. We're almost done, guys. I'm gonna get your input on what ones you think should be on the list. Tech. Kitchen tech. All right. Watching football in the fridge. Now, I got to say this, and most of you know this. If you watch my video, you know me at all. I do have a fridge just like this, the same, not the same model, but very close. Um, and I, we, you know, it does the YouTube. It'll do anything. It's it's basically like a, a tablet built into the fridge door. Okay. Uh, I think they're overrated in terms of, you know, everything, but I do, I do, we do use it. We do actually play YouTube videos on it. Um, like once a week, not every day, but probably once a week, maybe twice. We, we turn on the fridge and, and usually it's like music videos, um, or stuff like that. So, um, it does get used now. You can also view inside the fridge from the superstore, supermarket, or whatever. Um, that we never use, never. So I think it's overrated um, in terms of its usability. I don't, just don't know how how usable it is. You know, you can connect everything, but do you really need to? I don't really know. I think the most usable kitchen tech would probably be good, like lighting that you can turn on voice activated lighting maybe, or the faucets, you know, that are, that are, that are, um, techie, but like my, my rain should has Bluetooth connectivity. Um, I've never used it. TV fridge. Oh yeah. That's a thing. If you look back in my catalog of videos, I, I do a video where like part of the video is in on the fridge door. I was really like trying to plan it out. Um, yeah. And you just watch. They have TV dishwasher doors. I mean, they got everything. This one's, I love this picture because you have the dad on the fridge and the kids reading a book. <laughs> and the mom's like, this is interesting. Like, you know, tech isn't tech for the kids, but yet the, the, the kid's like, I'm going to just read a book, guys. I'm good. You guys go ahead with your weird fridge TVs, Gen Xers. Pull down wall units, uh, overrated or underrated? I'm going to weigh in real quick on this one. I think pull down wall units are highly underrated, definitely not used enough or told to clients and consumers that they're available enough. I think that every kitchen showroom should have a variety of these that people can see. Yes, they can be a little bit expensive, but what you know, that's relative. Um, to what your budget is and how accessible you really want your high wall cabinets to be. I think these are highly 
highly underrated. Um, so, you know, save up some coins and get yourself one. They're, they are expensive. Yes, just expensive. Pull downs would be used more if they were less expensive. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, Starbucks is expensive too. <laughs> we go there all the time. So save up on that Starbucks money and then we'll get ourselves one of these. Anyway, I think these are definitely underrated and should be put in more kitchens. So very, very good. Now, I don't think all of them are the greatest. Um, I think the ones that extend up above the top shelf because the, or the bottom shelf are probably the best because the bottom shelf you can easily reach, but everything above that is a little more challenging, so you can pull it down. So that's my thought on that. That was the last one, everyone. All right. So overrated, underrated. Let's give a few minutes. I want you to uh, put in a kitchen trend in the chat. Now's your time. Put it in and we'll have a look here. I'll bring it up on the screen. We can chat about whether or not we think it's overrated or underrated. And if I missed you by accident, if we're going through here, um, my bad. So, uh, and try not to put it in a big sentence. Just put one word or two words, whatever it is, so we can grab it real quick. Uh, overrated or underrated kitchen trends, what do you think they are? And while you're doing that, if you're watching, make sure you hit that thumbs up and definitely get on the poll here so you can vote on the social media platform that you use the most. And uh, we will go from there. Uh, all right. Okay, we got a bunch coming in, so let's do it. Uh, I'll just go with the first one to see here, which is base cabinets overrated. <laughs> we need base cabinets. <laughs> what do you mean base cabinets are overrated? What? Am I missing something? Okay, I'm not sure. But don't you need base cabinets for your countertop? Okay, let's keep going. I'm not sure. Decorated ceilings like wood panel. Um, overrated. <laughs> Black kitchen. Underrated. Under cabinet lighting. Definitely not overrated. The more lighting, the better. Shaker style. Overrated. Two-tone we already looked at. Um, what did we say that was? Many of you said overrated. And I think appropriately rated was what I thought. Glass rinse on the sink. Oh, killer. Um, underrated. Yeah, I think that's an underrated one for sure. Only eight thumbs up. No, there's 54 thumbs up on mine. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that's Facebook. I'm not sure. Oh, there goes my camera. All right, let's go. This one, Skylights. Hmm. Interesting. That's a good one. I, I think they're probably in a new construction, maybe underrated. They definitely should be there. Okay. Uh, oh, man, you guys are lots of statement hoods. Underrated. Smiley faces. Underrated. Pot fillers. Ooh, if I say overrated, will you be mad at me? I think they're overrated. By the way, my opinion, and who knows? Drawers for pans and dishes in the base. Underrated. If you ha if you don't have everything in drawers, you don't know what you're missing. Get rid of your wall cabinets. Put it all in drawers. Underrated. Thumbs up. Underrated. We need we need more thumbs up. Pot fillers. Okay, yeah, we talked about that one. We had a Skyliner kitchen. Loved it. Uh, can't do that now in a two-story. No, you cannot. Induction cooktops. Interesting. Um, I think, I don't know. What do you guys think on that one? I, I, I'm going to say I think they're underrated. Um, I think we're still really paying attention to gas. I wish I had a glass rinse. See, there you go. Minimalist kitchen. Underrated. Minimalist. I would say, yeah, you're probably right. Underrated. Uh, we hit induction. Underrated combo three in one convection steam microwave units. Interesting. All right, we're going with it. Uh, pot fillers, yeah, overrated. Okay. Stove top faucet. I guess you mean a pot filler, Phil. <laughs> um, wood countertops. 
they're not overrated because they don't get talked about enough. So I guess maybe they're underrated. I'm not a huge fan of wooden countertops unless maybe it's an island. Definitely don't want to have a sink in it, in my opinion, because I've seen what can happen underneath that. It's not nice. Um, yeah, that's a good one, Mark. Under, I think they're underrated in generally. All right, let's keep going here. What is a glass rinse? Um, it's this little thing <laughs> that gets mounted to your sink by your countertop, and it has like this little pressure plate and it's connected to water so when you push the your cup down on it water shoots up inside of it and rinses it out um they're really really cool check them out on on the google um you'll you'll probably want one they're really neat undermount sink uh appropriately rated if you if you have stone countertop definitely you'd want an undermount sink i think as long as i guess there may be a zero reveal that's a good one. Cornices, overrated. We don't need those anymore. Not, not in the populace. Okay. OTR. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to do that. I was waiting. Uh, definitely overrated, the OTR. Nine thumbs up on YouTube. No, we got more. Um, maybe you have to refresh your, your feed. Because uh, I got 54 showing on mine. Let me refresh mine. Yeah, 54. Okay, let's keep going. Um, large windows. Oh, I was actually going to add that to my list and I didn't get a chance to. Uh, underrated. Yep. Induction. Underrated. Okay, underrated. Kitchen office area. No. I know what, though? Yeah. I think, Phil, you're onto something here, because in the day that we live in now, um, not the old-style desk, that that's done and gone, but an actual, you know, usable, sit-at, good space in a kitchen might be a good idea, in, instead of just the island, or maybe appropriately depthed overhangs on, on islands that are actually you can fit into. So maybe... Maybe this could be actually underrated, uh, generally speaking. I love my induction cooktop. Okay, do they break easy? I'm not... Induction cooktops? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, induction, induction. Hidden corner pullouts for base. Hidden corner pullouts for corner base cabinets. Well, whatever you have in the corner definitely you should have some kind of pullout to make that thing a zillion times better. So I don't know if they're overrated or underrated. I think if you don't have, if you have a corner, you should have something in it that you can access it. So that's a good one. Oh, uh, we got a, we got a key. The key is the burner. Oh, the size of the pot and pan induction is awesome. Okay. Gas cooktop overrated. Really? I don't have one, but I always thought they were the, the thing. But I don't know. On YouTube, mine says 29. Uh, I refreshed mine, and I got we got 55. Um, so that's awesome. So thank you if you've uh, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't yet, you're just joining me. Uh, make sure you do that. Hit the thumbs up and uh, vote on the poll uh, that we have going. Storage in the toe kick. Ah, Good one, Jackie. That's a good one. Uh, Natasha saying not practical and overrated, underrated. Oh, sorry, I keep doing that. Um, hmm. That is a good one. You have to give you the boot for this one. I think probably underrated, generally speaking. Uh, toe kick drawers are probably underrated, but that being said. I'm not convinced that they're super, super functional. So maybe keep that in mind. Shallow wall pantry, underrated. I think we need more of those for sure. A grill, ooh, underrated. Or a toe kick, well, yeah, would jam. That's uh, That would be a problem too. Wine storage shelves. Well, here's the thing. Um, 
definitely plan on that in a new kitchen. Um, like for me, that'd be overrated because I don't drink wine, but I've designed lots of kitchens with uh, the need to have some kind of wine storage. So I think probably appropriately rated based on your needs. Ask any bartender to show you a real, a real glass rinse. Okay. I don't know what a, I don't know what a real one is compared to what one is um, in your kitchen, but the ones in the kitchen, they look really cool. Closed kitchen is underrated. Darling, you had to get that in there, didn't you? Um, yeah, maybe so. You could be right. Um, I will say probably you are right. They could be underrated. Where as an open concept kitchen might be a little overrated, you know, generally speaking, though it's, they're my favorite and I love them. And I think they all should be like that. Um, oh, Darlene got an amen from Gammy. <laughs> Team OTR is going strong. I'm glad that we can all agree to disagree, you know, and just get, all get along. I think it's wonderful. Team OTR. That'd be a good t-shirt, Jackie. Uh, we'll get some merch. And we'll have some Jackie-inspired uh, merch. Open plan kitchens, small kitchens. The thing with small kitchen is it's necessity. So if it's if you have a small kitchen, that it's it's not a trend, and, and so it you wouldn't say that would be overrated or underrated, maybe. But maybe in a new build, the need to build a massive, massive kitchen might be overrated when you, when you could go smaller and get everything you need out of it. So you only need as you only need what you need, and then after that, you're just putting cabinets in for for for, for, for filler. Over the range equals OTR, yes. Okay, enough of the OTR talk. <laughs> Jackie, you're going to have to boot some of these people out. All these all these OTR lovers. Get them out of here. Come on. Uh, drawer microwave. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. That might be underrated. They're not just... They're just not used enough they're not out there enough it's hard to know on that one. Oh, a second sink yeah having two sinks might be um <laughs> might be a good idea depending on your on your kitchen i'm anti toe kick drawer unless it's just one for the purpose of secret stash drawer for your go bag your extra passports and your your cash <laughs> Or whatever else you put in a secret stash drawer. That's none of my business. Spice racks or drawers. Oh, um, I like drawers for spices. Jackie says you got 56. I got 59 on mine now, Jackie. Gas stove. Darlene thinks they're awesome. Hidden walk-in pantry. I think this is overrated. It's cool. I like it. I think it's cool. It seems to be that thing. I don't know. I think it's overrated. That's a trend. I think it's awesome, by the way. Just saying. Um, a plum. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to hit all these before we run out of time. Let's see. Butler's pantry. Uh, well, I think that's a definitely good thing to have. If you have the space. So underrated. If you have the space for it and you don't have one, you should think of a butler's pantry. Walk-in pantry is a great thing. Insect cabinets. Ah, underrated. Like we need to see more of those. They look so good. Appliance garages. I don't know. I think old school appliance garages are just gross looking, but new school ones that are maybe a little more modern, maybe underrated. I don't know. What do you guys think of that one? Toe kick wine storage, definitely underrated. <laughs> I've got closed kitchen uh, at the moment. Um, cool. Closed kitchens. We see still lots of closed kitchens around. Definitely closed kitchens are underrated right now. Um, I have spice racks and spice stores. Both have run out of room. Well, there you go. Oh, most bartenders will wash all their glass over hand. I, I thought you were joking or had, there was some, something facetious about that. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I like quartz. It works. Um, we mentioned that. I think that one quartz overrated for sure. Still debating whether to open up the wall. Oh, open the wall up. 
Open the wall up. Do it. Just do it. It doesn't matter if you're a messy cook. That just means the food probably tastes delicious. So open that wall up. Come on. Commit to it. Do it. We all want you to open the wall up. I love... Just knock the wall down. Do it. You will love it. Worst case scenario, you can put the wall back. Microwaves are overrated. They sure are. You know what I say about microwaves? The best place for them is the yard sale. Exactly. Huge kitchens overrated is a way to put it better. Yeah. Porcelain, good for wall and showers? Yes, it is. It is good. Double Island. Probably as a trend, it's overrated. We'd probably, you know, I, I would say as a, as a trend, it's it's an overrated thing. I'm doing a kitchen right now, and, and the, the plan has a double island in it. And the homeowner's like, I don't really want the double island. Is there a better way to do this? So he gets it. Drawer dishwasher, underrated. Interesting, okay. Limited edge profiles. Limited on limited on edge profiles. Oh, with porcelain? Yeah. How many profiles do you need, though? I guess is the question. Because when I sold quartz and I sold granite, I only pushed one style of edge ever. There was only one style I thought was worth going with. And all the rest, I thought, no. So and that's just an eased edge with a little eighth-inch radius. So if that's the case, I don't I don't think it matters. So form over function, overrated. For sure. You're right there. You would definitely want function. I recently had a homeowner specifically request a kitchen stay closed, and it was a breath of fresh air from the standard knock down the wall, <laughs> make me an island request. <laughs> well, I still love it. I got a pantry and it's got junk in it. Yeah. We all have junk in our kitchens. One of the big issues with kitchens is that they're just, there's junk in them. And a lot of us aren't that organized. That's one of the big, biggest things you can do for kitchen functionality is, is get rid of stuff that doesn't belong there anymore. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tear down that wall. All right, a couple more. Hey, did I mess up by going dark gray backsplash with white cabinet countertop? Um, do you, I guess the question is, do you like it? If the cabinets are all white and the countertop's white, I think it can probably be, it probably looks fine. Um, and if you like it, then it's the right decision. So. I don't think you messed up. If you look at it and you're like, oh, why, why'd I do this? Then yeah, maybe. But if you're like, I like the look of this, then it's going to look good. I think it's fine without seeing it or knowing how dark it is. But white, everything was white with a dark backsplash. I think that can be, that can be okay. Someone else might say no, but all right. Jackie thinks it can look nice too. So, yeah, you guys are great. Um, oh, this has been a, a blast. Thanks so much for hanging with me for all this time. Um, let's look at our poll real quick before we go on and before we say goodbye. And so other social media platforms that you use uh, or which one to use most often. And 43% are saying Instagram, TikTok at 10%. Uh, Pinterest, 39%, 8% at Twitter. So Pinterest and Instagram are probably the two that I'm probably thinking to pay more attention to in terms of trying to serve an audience with kitchen design content. And then I guess, um, I don't know, I guess Facebook's still a thing. Do you all use Facebook? Maybe I'll put that in the next poll uh, to get some kind of viewer, um, you know, in idea of what, what the viewer wants. Because I just don't use Facebook. I know this is streaming to Facebook, but I do that within the streaming platform. I just send it out to Facebook. I never I never go in there because Facebook to me was always this kind of rabbit hole that I'll just, I'll be in there and all of a sudden three hours go by and I'm, I'm on Facebook snooping around at, on people's lives for some reason. So I just, I've, no, I haven't gone near it in years. So um, whereas I, I think these other platforms that are, are more vertical uh, might be, might be better. So, 
Anyway, so in the future, maybe I'll think about the, the, the Pinterest thing. There's a lot of people looking for kitchen design uh, information, so that'd be a good place for it. Um, that being said, thank you so much for being on this live stream. I do appreciate you all. Next week, we'll be back again talking about some more kitchen stuff. Oh, and I want to mention this. There's still a bunch of you on. There's 65 of us on watch right now, so thanks so much. Um, if you are a kitchen designer, I know some of you are, um, but if you are a kitchen designer please reach out to me and I'll put my email on here if you haven't emailed me already, because um, what I want to do, I would love to bring you on a live stream um, and chat about design live. So this is a kind of a call out to kitchen designers uh, or interior designers as well. Um, so if you're watching the live stream, you're like, Hey, I, I do this either for a living or I've done it before uh, or I'm an interior designer, please reach out. I'd love to bring you on, uh, on the live on some Wednesday and we can chat about kitchen design. I think that would be interesting and fun to do. Um, so make sure that you um, reach out to me by doing that. If you would think you'd want to come on a live stream and chat with me, it's um, this is what you already know what this is like. So it's just like this. We just chat. And I think that would be really fun. So uh, yeah, if that's up your alley, please let me know. Or if you're watching the replay at this point and you hear this, please reach out. I'd love to uh, get in touch and we can come on and, and chat about all that stuff. And, um, you know, two or three, we can get like a bunch of us on at once. So that, that would be totally a whole bunch of fun. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. And we'll see you next week here. Same bat time, same bat channel. And um, God bless.